ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಹರಿಹರ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಇನ್ ಇ ಎನ್ ಟಿ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೆಡೆನಿಕ್ ಸರ್ಜನ್ ಐ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಡೂ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ನೋರಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಬ್ರೀದಿಂಗ್ ಡಿಸಾರ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಐ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಲೋರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿಕೇಡ್ಸ್ ಸೈನಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಲಿ ದ ಏರ್ ಫಿಲ್ಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾವಿಟೀಸ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದ ನೇಸಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾವಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಬೋನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೇಸ್ these sinuses are filled with air of a certain antiseptic quality as a result of which they act as protective mechanisms to ensure that what we breathe is sterilized before it goes into the lungs so this air filled cavity when it is included in infection can cause lot of pus to be formed inside sometimes because of the nature of the infections you can have bacterial infections or for that matter even fungal infections lately at the time of the pandemic there were a lot of cases of fungal sinusitis erroneously called black fungus but they were the fungi which were taking root at the sinuses and spreading indiscriminately eating away the tissues around them that is invasive fungal sinusitis allergic fungal sinusitis is a topical infection of the sinuses wherein there's a collection of allergic material and fungi as a result of which patients will have a lot of sneezing tick discharge etc and if there is a polyp formation they may have obstruction to nasal breathing also this does not usually invade into the bones like the invasive fungal sinusitis of mucor here allergic fungal sinusitis is caused by fungi which are commonly seen at home which you may see on the molds that form on the shoes which are not cleaned for a long time or sometimes you come across them in the corners where there are lot of moisture in the rooms so these are all home based fungi which can easily escalate into a fungal sinusitis so the protection is to make sure that the environment is well managed and kept clean and dry as well as making sure that such fungi don't grow inadvertently in the region where you don't clean them like the shoes which are not kept well